Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Jam Slaver Plays Mist. This is where we left it off last time, where I was looking at a book with a strange floaty picture in, so let's jump on in and see where it takes us. I mean, I kind of know where it takes us because I read that little diary and so I recognise the description. Basically we're going to a place called Stone Ship. I think it's called Stone Ship. Uh, and as you can see, there's a ship and there are stones. So, in fact, specifically, this is a ship which is sort of half stuck in the rock. I can't remember the reason for that. Uh, there, the, the backstory for this is is uh, in the little diary. Actually, there's, huh, it's like split into two pieces. That's weird. Um, you'll be pleased to know that this is one of the parts of the game that I didn't play when I started playing Real Mist uh, about a month or so ago. So this is all entirely new to me. Ooh, telescope. Doesn't seem to be much to see. I guess that's the. I can't turn it down either. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what that does exactly. Um. Yeah. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little look around here. Just see what we can find. That, that's always a good thing to start off with in Mist. Is uh, let's look around. Oh, that area is flooded. This place. This place looks way better than it used to. I mean, I kind of said that before when we were exploring just the island itself. That place is flooded as well. Hmm. Oh, and so is this. It's all flooded. So I guess the only place to go is over here. Yeah, I, I know I said that the game looks way better in this 3D version than the uh, original version, but wow. Good lord. Like, this is so much better than it used to look, because obviously it's, it couldn't be raining. It was just still and, and nothingness. Uh, okay, so let's push that button. Uh, oh. Making like a pumping noise. Let's see what the other buttons do. They all make pumping noises. Does this make a pumping noise? Okay, I'm hoping that... <laughs> I'm hoping that those are... No. No. Hmm. Um. Maybe I need to leave them for. What happens if I leave it on, on a different one? Let's just leave it on that one. See, see what it gets. Oh! And there's another error over there. I'll hit that in a sec. That's still flooded. The water level does. Ah, okay. I guess the different pumps pump out the water from different places. And it's dark down here. It's kinda creepy. You can just about see though. Can I... Ah. Ooh. Okay. Um pretty cool. Okay, so this um, this is a, a nicely decorated room which suggests to me... does this do? Ooh, isn't that nice? Which suggests to me that this is um, one of Cirrus's rooms. Ooh, look at that. Press that again. And the reason I say that is because, um, from what I remember playing the game, playing the game before, uh, generally you'll find like two areas of each world: one inhabited, which used to be inhabited by Cirrus, and one that used to be inhabited by Agonar, Um In which you will find the diary pages that you're looking for. Um, and what usually happens is that Agonar's is kind of very stark and bare, and usually has some kind of nasty stuff in it, whereas Cirrus's stuff. He's usually kind of nice and, and richly decorated. And I'm also finding apparently decked out to use a lot of substance abuse. And also wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? No idea what that is. That desk drawer is empty. Aha! A red diary page. Okay, I'm not going to pick that up yet because, um... Actually, why the hell not? I'll pick it up. But I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust Cirrus. And as I said, this is probably Cirrus's room. So there we go. Red, red diary page. I'll find Agonar's room. I'm sure it won't be too difficult to find. 
If that's really the only puzzle in this game, in this level, that's a pretty disappointing level. I don't remember ever finishing this one. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Anyway, let's... Anyway, let's... Let's head back up to the top. Um, I remember from watching my episode, the first episode back, that I went, I, I started talking about how Mist was this big event in uh, in PC gaming. Ooh, look at that! I, all right, one of these days I'm going to stop being impressed by the lighting effects, but for the moment, good lord, look how look how nice this place looks. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what's in here. Can I can I go up the ladder at all? No, oh, I can't. It's locked. Yeah, I started talking about that, and I talked about how it was like a, a big technological revolution, but the other interesting thing about it um, was that it was also like... Uh, let's try that one. It was also seen as almost like a cultural revolution, or the start of a cultural revolution, in that people said, aha, there we go, this one's now unlocked. People sort of started thinking, well, why would anyone make games in the traditional way when all... Ooh. I guess I'm underwater. Ooh, I seem to remember that when I played this the first time, as in way back in the day, um, you couldn't actually get down here when it was dark, so that's new. And obviously, you couldn't go up and look outside the windows. Hello, fish. Reminds me of Bioshock in a little bit. It's kind of peaceful down here as well, even if it's a little bit creepy. Because it's dark. I think I have to turn those lights on. I seem to remember in the diary pages that I was skipping through earlier on, and that I vaguely remember that those things are like underwater lamps. So I assume that there's some way that I can turn those on so I can see what's in this room. I don't remember what's in this room, by the way. I just presumably there's something in there that I can find, but I won't be able to find when it's dark. Yeah, so people saw Mist as like this... Ugh. Okay, enough's enough. I wonder if I can... Get... No? And I've been up there because that's the telescope. Um, people started seeing it as like this uh, this cultural revolution thing, where they'd be like, "What? Well, why on earth spend you know a huge amount of time and hundreds of man hours and whatnot making uh, games in the traditional way when you can just make all these pre-rendered uh, scenes? And it's a relatively simple game to make and it'll be hugely successful." Obviously, that didn't really come about. Like you you had some FMV games. This was kind of around that sort of time, I think, um, where you were, had like real actors filmed and stuff. Huh. Maybe I've got... Hmm. Um, we had real actors doing, you know, acting out scenes and stuff, and you could click on them. But apart from Mist and its sequels... Can I press the sequel? Ah. Apart from Mist and its sequels, there weren't really many more in this style of game. Like This is a very particular take on the adventure game genre in that you never really have much of an inventory. You just have... Right, I'm just wandering around in circles now. You All you ever have is the diary page. Uh, and so all you're doing is, is using stuff. So that didn't really come about, but at the time it was kind of like people were thinking uh, almost along the same kind of lines as people are now with the Wii. It was like, why on earth would people bother making real games when they could just spend a little bit of money and cash in? Obviously the difference is that Mist has a lot more artistic merit than, say, carnival games or whatever on the Wii. Maybe if I push... No? Hmm. So yeah, so that's kind of like the uh, the background for what, for what Mist was. Maybe there's a way of... I'm going to bet... Oh yeah, actually, you can see from... I can see from up here that there's like a generator in there. And the wires go into these rooms. Huh. Is there really no way I can get in here? Maybe there's a key lying around so Oh! Huh. There's a key. Okay. Huh. <laughs> I think I can see it. This reminds me a lot of a crystal maze thing. Don't know if any of you in America know what the crystal maze is. But uh, it's like it was like this game show in the 90s, where you had to collect these crystals and you had to do various different tasks. Okay, I need to raise the water in here, don't I? But if I raise the water... Oh no, because these are planks and they'll float. It was like this awesome game show. 
presented by the guy who um, wrote the Rocky Horror Picture Show. A uh, guy called uh, Richard O'Brien. Alright, so I need the water to go back up, maybe? So if I turn off all the pumps... The water's pretty low. Is this what? That water's still down at the bottom. Maybe if I... Let's try some of the other ones. And yeah, this this puzzle, because obviously I, there's a key which is tethered away from the door, and I have to move the thing that's tethered to. In this case, it's a pretty simple yeah, solution. I just have to... I just have to raise the water. Okay, that's not really having any effect on this place at all. Is that like... Hmm, steps going down? That would be cool. But, um... Hmm. So far, no luck. Let's try the last one. Seems all I have with combinations of these things are just one of the lights being on or none of the lights being on. So let's just leave it on that one on the end. Let's see what we got. I'm actually kind of surprised I found the diary page this quickly. Usually it takes way longer. Usually that's, uh... Well, in my experience of playing this game, usually what happens is that I find... Ah! There we go. Usually what happens is that I find uh, the exit first, and then I'm like, okay, well, I now I need to go back and get the... What the crap? What is this thing? Oh, okay, I, I emptied the water out of it, and now if I put the water back in, it'll float to the top. Cool, alright. Why would... Maybe it'll push the... I don't know. Anyway, let's do that. Hmm. It's getting pretty rough out here. It's a good thing I can't fall off. Um, and I guess I'll just turn off this pump. So yeah, that's... Basically, whenever you come into one of these worlds, you have to do two things. Or, or three things, if you're being thorough, which I'm going to be. Um, you have to find both diary pages, although you only really need one. But usually will have to... Oh. Did I not do that right? Did I need to... Cl hmm. Let's do that again. So yeah, you have to find the exit and find the two diary pages. Although, you, strictly speaking, I need to find one. But if you're wanting to progress in the game in some kind of meaningful way, then you need to find both of the diary pages, because obviously you're going to need the one that you want. I don't think the game really rewards you for just mixing and matching with the diary pages. So this thing is just stuck at the bottom. Is it... Um, okay, so that's, that's it closed, isn't it? I let the water out and they closed it so the water can't get back in. Okay, well, it's, and there's no water in it now because it was open and it leaked out before I got down here. Okay, okay, okay. So now let's put the water back up and see if we can get it to float to the top. Don't know if I mentioned this. A lot of trial and error in this game. Okay, push the button. Go all the way back. Aha, there we go. Oh! Ah, okay. So it wasn't the key for the... For the... Haha, <laughs> there we go. See? Okay, so this is kind of... Kind of inventory, like, come on. There we go. Kind of inventory. Yeah, just dropped an, a lock on my foot. Okay, and climbing up. I'm not controlling this, by the way. I The last thing I just controlled was that clicking on the key on the lock. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Um... Uh, okay, so I need to do this, then I need to pump the water out of the ship, I think. Is that going to charge down or something? I need to pump the water out of the ship, so it... Uh, crap. There we go. Yeah. Uh, which was the second one, I think? Yeah. Oh no, wait, no, 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 it was the it was the last one, because that... Ah, oh, for crying out loud. It doesn't really matter that much. 
I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. No, okay, not that one. So what's the middle one? Damn it! Oh well, now that we've got... I see, now we have power down here. So we can see where we're going. I wonder if there's anything in Cirrus's room that needs power. I'm going to assume that some... Hmm. Whoa. I was right. Okay, this is giving me a little bit of reason to pause because... Oh no, wait, this is... <laughs> For a little while I thought this was the Underground Railroad thing, but it's not. I think that must be in a different place. Okay. I'm going to right click on that. That's... Stop blinking. I can't see. I don't know what I did. I think I broke it. Is that... No, that's not where I came in from. Where is this place? No, I don't like it. Stop beeping at me. Haha, -ha, yes, and this must be Agonor's room. And there's the diary page. I'm not going to pick that up, though, because I don't want the blue ones. There's usually some interesting stuff to look at in their rooms. Uh... I think I remember this one. Yeah, and I grab this. Check this out. It's pretty cool. So yeah, as you can see, this is the kind of thing that Agonor likes. Oh, I wonder if there's anything in his drawers. Ooh! No! It's like a map, but I can't get to it. Okay. They're all maps. Map, map, map. What's this? Marcus, which island? The vault is located. Island of Mist. Retrieved very easily. Instructions are form each of the market switches. Turn everyone on, okay, into the on position. So Agonar has half of a note describing how to use the marker switches on Mist, which, honestly, if you need a note to work that out, I guess, hmm, I don't know, I figured it out pretty quickly. I mean, even even when I didn't know what they did, even when I was really new to this game, uh, I figured I'd probably flick all these switches. This place is creepy. I'm just going to ignore that. I thought that this place was flooded. When did this... Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Um... I need to go down to the ship. Okay. Hopefully those undersea lamps will be on. Or maybe I can turn them on. No. They're not on. Maybe the batteries ran out. The power all goes into there. Maybe there's... Um, maybe there's like a, a switch I have to press which turns the underwater lamps on. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, well, it has run out of it has run out of juice, so let's let's rev that up again. I'm really not sure what that compass thing was, though. My guess is that it's the way out, but presumably I won't be able to find out until I get out of here and get those uh, get those lamps turned on. Come 
on, show me light. Damn it! How do I turn these things on? Hmm. Well, presumably the compass has got something to do with the, um... Oh, I know what it is. Okay, I have to... P huh. I have to point the telescope at that thing to figure out what the angle is, and then click on the angle on the compass. That would make the most sense. So, that's... There's only two of these things, but one of them is... is this, which isn't... That's not anything, is it? Okay. Anyway, let's, let's find out the bearing, and I'm going to write that down. So, don't want that one. I want that one. So it's the second one to the right. So... Huh. That's not it, is it? Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's the one on the other side of that of the lighthouse thingy. So it's a hundred and eighty six ish. I'll write that down. Hundred and eighty six degrees. Hundred and eighty six degrees, which in nautical terms is just slightly west of due south. So let's try pressing that button on the little conduit thing. Which I assume I have to pump the water out of the out of the hole to get to. I think that was the middle one, was to get to the get to the two rooms. Luckily the power seems to have hold up. It seems to be holding up. Where the hell was that doorway? Here we go. Okay. So that's due north, so this is south, so it's like that one? No? I don't... Did that work? Stop beeping at me! None of these clicks seem to do anything. Maybe there's not enough power or something. Um... Oh! No, wait, that's the... that's the way out. Let's go... <sighs> Shut up! Now the power is out. Um That power's still on though. Um Maybe that did it? I somehow I doubt that, but let's give that a shot anyway. I mean I'm pretty sure these lights are, are always on, aren't they? Kind of Makes the con no, it's not still not on. Makes the contrast with the darkness a little bit more ominous. Maybe I need to point it towards the pagoda, the lighthouse thingy. Um, is there like, where are the power lines? Because the power, is there a power line that goes to the to this boat here? No, that's not a power. That's a power line, and they go into. Serious and agonize room. But not to the boat. Maybe I need to... Well, I'm kind of running out of things to click on, so let's... No, because I don't need to route it to the, to the lighthouse, because the lighthouse is already lighting their rooms. Maybe there's a button that I'm not, that I'm not finding in their room. So let's actually just investigate this thing fully. Also, this thing charges down the, f the whole way when I do that. Ah, damn it. 
to charge this up again. Let's make a note of... actually, I'll write that down. So 186 degrees was the um, uh, the stern of the boat. So I'll just write stern next to that. And I'll go and make some more notes up on the um, up on the telescope, just to so I've got so I've tried clicking on 186 degrees and that didn't really seem to do anything. So let's head up and see what other bearings there are landmarks on because that's really all I have to go on here is what landmarks I can see via the telescope. Ooh, fancy. Okay, so let's click on the telescope. Oh, great! Now I can barely see. Great. Let's see, so the. The lighthouse is at about 135 degrees. 135 degrees, lighthouse. Okay, and then the bow of the ship is at about 112 degrees. That's the bow section. I don't think there's anything else out here, is there? Still trying to find my way home. Nothing but rocks. Okay. Let's give that one more try, and then I think we're gonna have to call this uh, call that a, a day because I'm getting close to half an hour here. I don't want to exceed that limit. Uh, for, for crying out loud. Okay. Pump the water out of the hole. I can access this through either of the areas. So I'll keep going through this one because it's the closest. There's a little bit of auto turn. Actually, is there anything, anything further down here? Like, is there any, are there any buttons or something in the people's rooms? It doesn't really seem to look any different when it's got power because these seem to be candles. No, I think I'm, I think it must just be that. Wait, did I... can I go past it? Where is it? Oh, uh, here it is. It's I wonder if that shape has any significance. Oh, actually, <laughs> I bet you on the... Uh, on Agonor's side, or Agonor's side, it's a... Uh, it's uh, a blue square. Okay, so that's due north. Um, okay, so I've got the lighthouse and the bow. So I tried 186, which was that button there, and that didn't do anything. Um, so let's try 112 degrees. So let's see. Uh, what's 112 degrees? This is starting to stretch my maths knowledge a little bit now. That's 180. That's 90. Um, God damn it. How many of these are? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Awesome. Or 16, rather, I guess. I can't do that maths, so I'm going to press the one. What have we got? The lighthouse was 135, and the bow section was 112. Let's do the, let's do the lighthouse section. Wonder well, if there's 135 degrees. Let's see, that's 180. That's gonna be halfway between them. Let's try that one. Huzzah! That was kinda lucky because that was sort of a guess. Anyway, I think that's a, a good time to call it a day here. So, um, next time we'll see what turning the lights on does. So thanks everyone, and uh, see you later.